my Torah mate asked me how we know that the rabbi's interpretation of not wearing ladies not wearing pants and also driving a car on Shabbos is the actual intention of the intent of the oral law. It's written in the Torah that a man should not uh, wear women's clothes and a woman should not wear men's clothes. That's an open uh, uh, law in the Torah. It's not. It's not, it's not written. It's a, it's a written law, not not the oral law. So that's uh, not. In, and maybe the person who asked didn't get to do the round yet. The fifth book yet that talks about that law. So take a look at that and that portion. So see, it's open law in the Torah. And how about women's pants? The pants that are made for women. Well, no, that's a different story. A different story. But a woman not to wear pants for a man. Of, of their pants, that, because men usually wear pants. That's different. That's a matter of of uh, of tzniyus. It's a question of uh, a person, a woman, not to wear pants, even though they're not made the same way that men's pants are. So we would call that men wearing men's clothes, but it's not considered uh, tzniyus uh, for for women to uh, since it brings out the parts of the body parts, the, the legs, because wear pants. So you, you see that. The, how the body is made, so it's not considered a, a sneers type of, uh, of clothing for a woman to wear, because we, she, she, we, she, we want a woman to be uh, very careful how they show themselves, how their bodies, and uh, the sneers uh, uh, is, is, a, is a very uh, important uh, uh, part of a, of a Jewish woman's life, to be tzenua, to, to uh, uh, make herself uh, not uh, uh, outstanding and uh, noticed. So uh, that's why we the women, besides the fact of not wearing men's clothing, they have to be more careful how they show themselves. And wearing pants is uh, is not considered sneers uh, for a primitive woman to go with. Okay, and they want to about driving a car on Shabbos. Well, driving a car on Shabbos, uh, the Torah says, don't do uh, malacha, don't do any work on Shabbos. Uh, they call it work. I mean, we call the we call it work and uh, freely translated. I mean, there's certain activities of Shabbos, or a better word, uh, activities of Shabbos, and uh, which activities the Torah talking about doesn't say which activities. And we have the oral law tells us that there are 39 different uh, types of uh, activities that are forbidden to do on Shabbos. And that's how we, we, we know from uh, most of the got the Mount Sinai, the interpretation of the written law, he got the oral law, and uh, he was told that by, by God, that these are the things that you shouldn't do. Thirty-nine of these planting and and and, and uh, uh, threshing and uh, 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 the all different uh, ty- types of malacha of uh, of uh, of choosing out things uh, one from the other, from the bad, from the good, and uh, cooking and carrying. These are different. Some of the of the thirty-nine malachas that washing, clothing, cleaning things, and. Uh, 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 so he w- was taught by God that 40 days he stood in heaven. God taught him, the Torah tells us, since 40 days he stayed in heaven, God was teaching him all these laws they brought down to earth to, to taught the Jewish people that we're still learning today and keeping today. So we have to have come on to the, to the oral law and understand the Jewish law, the, the written law. Otherwise, we don't know. So it's put on tefillin. What is tefillin? Put a tzitzit. What a tzitzit. Make a sukkah. What's a sukkah? Eat matzah. What's matzah? That doesn't tell us these things. It tells us, gives us a word. It doesn't tell us what it means and how do you make it and how do you go about it. So you have to have an oral law to explain all of these laws that the Torah says. Otherwise, we'd be at a loss to understand what the Torah is telling us, what Hashem is telling us. So these all of these things were given to Moshe Rabbein on Mount Sinai that we're still studying in our time today from the Talmud. Who can I call?